Panthers, good morning. It is Tuesday. This video is coming to you in three parts, or I guess maybe like two parts, with part two being separated into like an A and B. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to talk about men, and I'm going to talk about the book club thingy. Um, like responding to Nella's video. So that's what I'm doing. So part one is just basically like, um, it's funny that Nella made uh, like a, a reference to early videos that I made on the channel because a long time ago now, uh, I made a video about men. And the reason that I, I made a video about men is because it was the anniversary of the day that she showed up to my house. And so I told the story of like finding this tiny kitty outside my house and whatever. Um, and I linked this not that long ago in the Slack because I posted a picture of her in the pet channel. So she showed up to my house on July 24th and uh, it just happened that July 24th fell on a Tuesday and so I had made this video about it because it was the anniversary of the day. Um, now we have been on this channel long enough that it has happened again. July 24th is on a Tuesday again. So um, it is now the ninth anniversary of Min showing up at my house. It's it's a terrifying thing. So here's a picture of her a few days after she showed up at my house. And here's a picture of her I just took this evening. Pets are good. So, Buddy Read. Uh, I obviously think that this is an excellent idea. I always support Buddy Reads. Phoebe had an idea of some sort about how to conduct a Buddy Read the next time we do one, um, but I don't know exactly what the idea was. So Phoebe, I had actually forgotten all about doing much to do about nothing, which I'm really sad about because I, I don't think we ever really like actually talked about it at all. And I love much to do about nothing. And I have read it like a bunch of times. And, and so now I'm sort of sad that we kind of missed that whole like thing. But yes, I am very happy to do another Shakespeare play, Measure for Measure is fine. I, I think that I read Measure for Measure. I, I my, my Shakespeare reading is very spotty because I only read like a couple of plays in school and the other things I have read on my own just kind of at random. So um, there are a lot that I haven't read at all and then there are some that I've only read once like a long time ago. And, I think Measure for Measure is one of those, so it would be good to read it again. Shakespeare is good for buddy reads too because it's so like readily available. You know, you can just go online and there it is. With annotations even, which is nice. And uh, the other the other part of, you know, to be. <laughs> to be. I made a pun. It was inadvertent, I'm sorry. Okay, so the second part of the second section was about Alice in Wonderland. Uh, because now that you were talking about it, and like, I, I mean, it's okay if you don't like Alice in Wonderland, that's fine, that's good. Alice in Wonderland has a, like a big, huge sentimental attachment for me. But I also read it for the first time when I was six, and then I read it and I just like fell in love with it, it was a big thing for me. But if I had read it for the first time as an adult, I, I mean, I can't imagine that it would have had the same effect or that I would have loved it the way that I did when I was six. So I think it's perfectly normal if you read it and just don't quite find the magic. And also, if you don't like it, you don't have to read it. Like, there's no reason you have to if you don't want to, um, if you're not enjoying it. Although I also understand the feeling of, like, wanting to read something that is a classic, just so you, like, have that knowledge block. Like, I get that. If we do end up reading it, I will talk probably a lot about, you know, my my whole weird childhood thing with it. But, um, you know, whatever. I, I'm actually really interested in hearing the opinions of people who do not have the, the relationship with it that I do. So yeah, I'm excited about reading Measure for Measure. And uh, if, you know, if you want to read Alice in Wonderland, I'm excited about that too. So that is my part one and my two part part two. <laughs> I love you all very much, and I hope that you are having a good week, and I will see you next week. Don't forget to be awesome.